Hi, I'm Rich, host of Trapping Inc. TV. This is a review of the uh, 2018 Yamaha uh, VK Pro 2 that I ran last winter on, this, uh, on the trap line. Now you might wonder why I'm doing it on a beautiful day like this. Actually, unbelievably, this is just about the last day of October in uh, 2018. We had a foot of snow in, in September and, and it's gone. And, Anyway, long story short, my reason for doing it now is I wanted to go gate to gate with this machine on the trap line. I put uh, 2,200 kilometers on it on it last year through every condition that uh, we could have. We had very low snow conditions till uh, Christmas time and then it started snowing and didn't quit. We ended up with 10 feet before the year was out. And then we had a very fast, wet, sloppy spring where the bottom just went out in four feet of snow, just it, absolutely. I got to test it all the way through all of that. I got, got to uh, see what I liked and didn't like, and, and I got to uh, uh, see how the machine performed. Today's review is not going to be about quarter mile speeds or how high up the mountain I got or big air or anything like that. I really don't have a ton of uh, experience when it comes to that, that side of snowmobiling. Um, my machine previous to this was a 2014 Scandic with a, a 600cc uh, four-stroke in it. And uh, before that, I, my machine before that was a 1977. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you can see, it's a big machine. It is four feet wide, roughly 10 and a half feet long. It's made to ride two people up. You've got permanent handlebars back here and, and a backrest that you can take on or off. It handles two people extremely well. Yamaha makes two VKs, uh, the Pro and the 540. And the 540 is a two-stroke. Um, was Once was a very, very popular mo motor for Yamaha and it's, it's making a, a big comeback, smaller, lighter machine. For me, I went with the four-stroke because I need to have the mileage. Uh, I have a, a very large line and, you know, I'll do 300 kilometers in a day. Uh, I need to don't need to be carrying fuel. So, so the four, four stroke is, is what works for best for me on that. This has a 1050 cc engine. Wow, 1049, call me a liar. It's a triple cylinder in line. Uh, it is remarkable in how well it runs and it's remarkable on, on the, how good the fuel economy is. I did a head to head comparison with a, another four stroke machine that, I, that we had out and it was, um, it had half the, uh, practically half of the displacement of this. It, it had two people on it. This mach machine was pulling a, a, a big sleigh. Uh, there was uh, easily 200 or, or 250 pounds of, of weight in the sleigh. The difference between the amount of fuel used by this and the amount of fuel used by the machine that just had two people on it was very insignificant. So I guess maybe there's part, something to be said that sometimes the smallest motors aren't the most efficient because they they have to work harder that could be it i don't know i do know that this has started at much colder than 40 below well okay three or four degrees colder than 40 below uh haven't had a problem that's one of the big questions that everybody always talks about is does a four stroke have a pull start no it doesn't and they say oh well, they can't do that well i ask them how long it's been since their truck had a pull start yeah, <laughs> exactly. It just, uh, it's not an issue anymore with today's motors. It just is not an issue. If you've got a weak battery or, or, or something like that, well, that's always gonna be a problem that you'll have, whether it's a, a snowmobile or a, a vehicle. One thing they have done though, is they have these, these two leads right here. And it's really simple. This is where you would connect your, your booster cables if you needed to boost. Or, uh, or a battery charger. And the neat part about that is it makes it so simple. You're not hunting around trying to find your battery like uh, other models uh, that I've had experience with. A lot of stuff gets tucked away. I mean, these machines, they're trying to make them as compact and as, and as tidy as possible. So stuff gets buried out of the way. Yamaha simplified that by just pulling that, that uh, set of cables out, making it easy. Now, wherever the battery is, you know, it really doesn't matter. One of the things that a machine has to do for me on the trap line is it has to pull. It has to pull dependably. So that usually means, you know, we're going slow. We're not, uh, we're not going fast. Uh, we're working in deep snow. We're, we're working, uh, 
you know, in, in uh, tight conditions where you're, you're wiggling around through trees, over, over logs, that kind of stuff. You need to have a high-low transmission. So this has high-low and uh, reverse uh, on transmission here, and it's manual, okay? Manual is really, really important uh, because there's nothing to go wrong. <laughs> yes, you have to be stopped to be able to shift. Uh, you have to on any snowmobile. Uh, yeah, it don't maybe don't look so so cool as a as a button up here. It never lets you down, never. Okay, really important. So having that low range makes it so much easier on your belt and and everything else when you're pulling big loads. Uh, the unit has a 20 inch, 20 inch wide by 155 inch long track, and these are inch and a half lugs on it. It's, uh, you can see how, how it articulates at the back here, and that just simply means that, that this raises up when I, go to, when I go to back up, allowing me to back up a lot, uh, a lot easier, a lot more efficiently. Great track and great traction. I uh, never once last year had a problem with the unit as far as, and we, we got a ton of snow, like a ton. And I never ever even had to unhook my, my big sleigh to, to, uh, because I was in trouble or, or to break away or, or anything else. Very, very good machine. I will say that, I mean, you got a lot of ponies under the hood, so you, you, uh, it, it's good to be running in low gear or to be good on the, light on the throttle if you're breaking away in deep snow. But other than that, man, the machine is a monster that way. So comfort. Obviously, when you are riding all day long and working, you need comfort, and this machine has an incredible seat on it. Two things about the seat. One, you see this material on here? It's very sticky. It, it is a, a very non-slip surface, and you really don't notice the difference. I mean, yeah, everybody says the seat's non-slip. Put some snow on there, and then be in your snowmobile pants and that, and you're sliding all over the place. And you know, you get a heck of a core workout during the day just staying on your seat. Well, this doesn't get slippery even with snow on it and the cold in your snowmobile pants. It's a unique uh, material. You can see the material on the side here. That's typically what, what every uh, unit has that goes right over the top. This one has this, this nice uh, non-stick uh, seat here, or, or non-slip seat. Another thing is, is that this seat is heated. There's uh, an auxiliary. You can see this auxiliary radiator here which helps for um, cooling when you don't have a lot of snow on the trail. So air blows through it, but it blows into a duct here and the duct goes underneath the seat. Right under here is where, is where the, the, the duct runs and so you got heat. Uh, really cool about that is that of course your, your butt stays nice and warm, but everything in here doesn't freeze. So you got water or, or lure or sandwiches or whatever, stays in here and stays nice and warm. That is the, a, a really nice feature. The machine itself, when it comes to ride, is remarkable. It is unbelievably stable. It is unbelievably uh, predictable. Like it, there's not a lot of jumping and, 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 and flipping around. It doesn't try and tip over. Not at all. It stays stays very very well set. I don't. I haven't adjusted the the suspensions at all. Right from the way it came from the factory. I'm told there's some things that you can do to to change the ride however you like it. Suspensions are completely adjustable from the front. You can uh, you can change how change how much uh, pressure is on here. You can change how much pressure is on the front of your track. There's two different adjustments back here that you can change. All for if you're going in very deep snow or, or if you're hill climbing or, or whatever, right? So you can customize that ride to, for what you want. For me, um, the machine pulls. That was the, the most important thing is it's constantly hooked onto a sleigh and it's constantly pulling. So I needed that stability. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm a great snowmobile rider. I'm not at all. And I need something that's predictable. Another thing that made this so, so cool is the uh, electronic power steering. Now, it's a unit down in here, down the front, and uh, it's adjustable. It's, well, actually, it's, it's progressive and adjustable, okay? What it means by, mean by progressive is that as RPM goes up, it, it supplies more, uh, more, 
more assistance to the power steering. You can also adjust it so that uh, you know how much it, it, it uses right from the right from the bottom on up. Awesome for somebody who needs so, uh, shoulder uh, work on on both of my uh, rotator cuffs. A day long of of this and, and and constantly fighting those front skis and getting jerked this way and that way. That's hard. That's hard on and you know there's a lot of nights um, before driving this machine where I I just didn't sleep because you're you know your your uh, shoulders are just aching and aching. That um, electronic power steering stops all of that. It makes it so much easier to ride and so much more in, in, enjoyable. <laughs> there's there's a lot of times you know you, you're out there you're going so long and hard and. Uh, I find myself even getting sleepy going down, you know, just go along and life is so good. <laughs> and, and you'd be getting sleepy. Well, I couldn't do that on any other machine because it would kill me at that moment. It would, it would take advantage of the fact that I was getting sleepy and it would try to kill me. <laughs> One thing that I did that I, that I changed is I put a couple of uh, extra uh, bars on here for, for traction. Um, winter we had with all the snow and that this would would would, would uh, ice up and and you'd have no traction this uh, on the outside edge here uh, it, it is pretty good it's just that i get get my big snowmobile boot, boots on and that and this gets built up and and then pretty soon i'd have have no more traction and be just become a rounded hump so that was uh one thing i had to change um i forget was there anything else that i did i had i did a winter uh, i did an oil change on it absolutely as easy as pie here is our oil reservoir you just take it on unpop that 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 sensor there and then here is the dipstick pull it up and you can check the level of your oil and uh, it's got a down under here you take and uh, and drop your oil out there's a another you go in from the front there's a uh, access panel for for getting at the uh, drain plug on the motor and the oil filter absolutely as easy as it gets we have you can check your your fluid level here um, brake systems here all adjustable down here take and pop this out and this you can check, see your, your level here for your, uh, your oil in, in your transmission, which is awesome. Like, I mean, why more people don't do this? I don't understand. But I, as typical I, I, for Yamaha, it's got high and low marked right on the sight glass. So you don't even have to guess whether you're, you know, if, it, if it's in the middle of the sight glass. Is that, is that high or is that low? Well, it, it, it has the marks on it. Another nice thing. Most units today all come with uh, with heated uh, handlebars, heated thumb. Uh, this is uh, totally adjustable. It's got multiple settings. There's probably ten or twelve settings uh, for each one. Like, and it, you, you can uh, adjust it right on on your instrument cluster here. You'll know, you'll know what you're set at. You just set her on, turn her on, and it's tapper to take her up, tapper to take down. It's got a great uh, cluster on it, tells me everything I need, warns me if I'm low on oil, warns me if I'm cold. You know, when you start it up on a cold morning and that, it'll tell you that, that, that it's cold and, and to let it sit and idle. Uh, holds 11.8 gallons of fuel and I have done 300 kilometers, uh, well, 287 or something like that. And it was pulling a sleigh in, in a single day and I had tons and tons and tons of fuel left. I had no worries whatsoever. You never know though, so I mean I hauled fuel that day just to be sure because it was a, it was a big run. No, uh, no problems at all. Uh, that's great fuel economy that is. For a lot of people who, who uh, you know, 300 kilometers might be several trips on their trap line, that's just a single day on mine. So that fuel economy was, was very important. It's got heavy duty bumpers. And I had no idea how heavy they were until I went to, to pull it off while I was changing a, a belt on it. And uh, my God, they are heavy. They're never going to bend. They're, they're attached to the frame. They're, they uh, do an exceptional job. It's got a great storage area back here. Um, I just take and put a 
one of those Rubbermaid tubs on that you know, sits up this high and uh, you can put so much in there that, that, that you need. Nice heavy duty flapper hitch at the back, lots and lots of miles uh, on this one here for, for pulling. Uh, there's 2,200 kilometers on it, there's probably 2,150 pulling. So, uh, And that big track, that big aggressive uh, track back, back in there. Here's something that an old guy like me likes. There. <laughs> I don't have to have to uh, know origami to take the hood up or down. Absolutely as simple as it gets. If you need to, to uh, get into anything underneath here, it, real quick to take apart the, the bumper and then you can drop off side panels or whatever and you can have it sitting there out in the open where you can get at anything in, in a very quick hurry. Uh, it's nice It's nice that there was so much planning done. Uh, Yamaha does a great job with the planning and with the details. Uh, there's no question. It's got plastic skis on it. It's got uh, uh, skigs for carbide skigs on, on, on this particular one. Here's one thing I would, I would like to see them change. So I'd like to have a little bit more curve up in the front. Uh, it's probably totally unimportant for anybody other than a, than a trapper, but I, I would rather drive over logs than, than have to get out and cut them out of the way. So <laughs> if I had a little bit more upturn on the front end, of it, they, they would glide up and over. Really nice suspension up here, dual wishbone and, and uh, you know, like I mentioned before, the, the adjustable shock and, and, and all that. So it gives you a really sophisticated ride. You don't get thrown around, ruts don't grab you. Something that's really, really important for a trapper is the protection. Not only do we like to have something that's deflecting the snow out there, we also hide behind it so sticks can't hit us. <laughs> Two really nice adjustable mirrors on this that actually do some good. Um, you know, they, they're not just some pretend or anything, they're actually uh, really high quality, very adjustable, and I can always, just with a glance, I can look back and I can see my sleigh behind me, which is important, because we uh, manage to lose sleighs often enough. <laughs> there, I told you it wasn't going to be very technical, but for me, the Yamaha ticked all the boxes. It was absolutely 100% reliable. It started in the coldest of weather. I couldn't expect anything more of it. It started on days that I didn't want to leave the cabin. Absolutely fantastic fuel economy, great ride and handling. Didn't beat me up. Love that electronic power steering. And it pulled like a demon. You know, I, I, it got me around. I got, got to go any place that I wanted to go. I mean, it, it had the flotation with the big track and that. It did everything I expected of it and did it with, without any hassle or drama. I don't know if I can say anything more than that when it comes to a machine.